All right, guys, what is up? Evan Aldo here. Wanted to give you guys an update on the market right now. Sorry if I sound a little bit congested. Um, oh, man, the weather change up here in New England. One day it's 50 degrees. You know, next day it's 30 degrees. It gets to you. gets to you. I uh, can't wait till I'm back in Florida in a few days. But let's get into this. So the last thing I kind of did yesterday was I took a, a Solana scalp along. That was a really good trade. Um, this was also a trade I was looking at on trading wars did really good i was on that channel the other day it's a lot of fun and um, that was a pretty good trade lanicor you know um is in a trade right now i don't want to show crypto bull zone had a really good trade so it's me and two other or actually three other analysts in the aldo empire vip discord um went long on bitcoin set so did really well we like to give you guys a lot of you know good trade entries a lot of exclusive ta never recommend anyone just blindly follow the trades it's more of a you know see what we're doing, look at the charts, see if it, you know, corresponds with what you're looking at, and then make some educated guesses, you know, good risk management, a lot of that type of thing. So if you're interested in the community, link down below. Let's get right into the um, kind of analysis right now. So the main case to come up higher is going to be the the 10 hour right here, I would say the trigger wave, you know, especially in an uptrend, that's always going to be pretty good. You know, the fact that we're kind of jumping up now, we're, we're still playing around, you know, 37.9, we're still kind of around this area. That would be the case to jump higher, potentially up to the spiral line at 39.2. Um, if you do, you know, there's a few different ways you could do this, obviously, out of kind of this formation, you know, I guess I don't know, rounding bottom type of thing. You'd have one technical target kind of like around this high right here. So that, that you know, this is the yearly high for Bitcoin, 38.4. So it's going to be a big place of resistance. We're kind of almost rejecting from a little bit below that point. So that's going to be your kind of resistance right there. But if we do, you know, if you were to do a larger kind of, you know, breakout off of here, you're looking at the higher of this range. So 39.9, almost 40K. You know, are we going to make it that high? Tough to say, you know, the trend's your friend. If you're going based on that, you're going based on 10 hour, you would say yes, probably 40K would be the next place to look at. When you look at this daily, I mean, you are getting bear divs as money flow is coming out. You know, you can't deny that. You can't deny that. So that's going to be kind of your bearish case. Your VWAP's coming up, though. So that's the case, too. The VWAP here is the case to keep going forward. And then your two-day, I would probably argue your two-day is still pretty bullish. I mean, you're not seeing a bear div yet. As, as long as, you know, you're not seeing that and your VWAP's been below the zero line for a while, money flow is still okay. As long as you're not seeing that, I still think we got um, a little bit more gas in the tank. Same with the three-day. I mean, your weekly, not looking bad just yet. Nothing looking too terrible just yet. And then really on the macro, your two-week, you know, there's room to ride with these RSIs, you know, coming up. They could ride up quite a bit more here. So that's what we have right here to look at. And if we look at some of the lower time frames, eh, I mean, you're coming into the red. Last time you were in the red, you kind of, you know, were choppy for a bit, came down, then you came higher. I mean, not telling us too much there, but you're coming into the green. And when you came into the green over here, you had a little bit more. So if you go... Like that, you're looking at 39K based on that hourly. And then your 30 minute kind of trying to come up into the green right there. Um, in the short term, in the real short term, we can look at some of these lower time frames. Yeah, I mean, you might get a little another little trigger wave in the six minute. You repeat that. Then you're headed up to this next kind of big area, you know, 30, 39.6 even potentially. Um, that's what we could be looking at, even maybe all the way up to, you know, those far lines, they populate differently on the really low time frames, but 40, you know, 40.2. So that's what we could be looking at right there. So just keep that in mind, you know, keep that in mind. We could see that, you know, continuation upward here. So um, I want to move on to Ethereum just a little bit here. And because Ethereum is, there's a strong case to make that Ethereum is bottomed out against Bitcoin. So that's what we get, why we got to pay attention to it. And, you know, this monthly is about to confirm the trigger wave, um, which is a really macro bullish sign. And I think generally going in the four year cycle, we could generally keep things bullish based off of this for the next two years, maybe until the end of 2025, if we keep the four year cycle, which I don't see any reason to believe we won't. So I think it's a pretty good place to DCA, DCA ETH as I've been doing for probably the last month and a half, two months, something like that. Um, October was the big place because September, October of 2019 in the four year cycle was when Ethereum bottomed out against Bitcoin the last time. So that's, that's the big case there, but getting into ETH on, on the analysis here daily is a little concerning bear div, you know, money flow coming out. It's a bit concerning. You have a bear div on your two day money flow coming up though. This may be more indicative of consolidation sideways action. I know crypto face was talking about potentially some sideways action and then a, a pump up. 
um, after, we could see that. We absolutely could see that. You know, we're still kind of in that holiday season. We could be kind of sideways maybe until the new year. You know, there's only really a month until the new year. We could be generally range bound until then and then kind of, you know, continue forward. So, you know, DCA is your friend. You know, it's like kind of that rare area to be DCAing into alts, I think. Ethereum alts, I think. Unless, you know, yeah, unless we go into a recession, unless things get really ugly, which there's always going to be that risk. You know, I think following the four-year cycle, ETH and alts make a lot of sense right now, especially maybe converting some Bitcoin over to, over into them, depending on your risk tolerance, you know, how much risk you want to take. Um, but yeah, I mean, trying to fight back into the green right here with the money flow just like this. So if we repeat that, then you're looking at, you know, you're looking at a trajectory upward, uh, repeating this type of action, coming into the green, around 2200, 2200, um, big psychological area, I would say. And ultimately, yeah, money flow starting to come up on some of these kind of time frames here. So yeah, I mean, you might, she might have a little bit, a little bit more here, trigger wave right there. And if you repeat this trigger wave in your six minutes, just like Bitcoin, I mean, this is going to be a little bit risky. A trade like this is going to be pretty, you know, you probably could get a one-to-one, -one yeah, I mean, you can, you got a little wiggle room here. I mean, if you want to do a one-to-one. -one, some people don't like to trade with one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. I've been experimenting it with it a lot. You know, if you're a one-to-one -one factoring in fees, you want to be right probably. You want to win probably at least, you know, six out of 10 trades, at least, you know, 55 of a, out of 100 trades. Um, but sometimes the leeway, especially with crypto, could be advantageous if you did. I mean, doing something like this, I wouldn't recommend seven. You know, that's kind of... Yeah, you got to win a lot of freaking trades if you do that, but something like that may may have a decent shot here, especially if you could hold this area. Maybe look for that point of control, and then look for a jump off of there. Maybe a wick down, get out some of the people trying to trying to um, go long too early, and then go go forward or have a lenient stop loss, like I mentioned. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at on Ethereum. You know, there are some concerns, but I think macro still is very strong, still very. Um, kind of strong DCA area. And then if we compare Ethereum to Bitcoin here, let's just compare it a little bit. Are we making a new? No, it's on the one minute thing. <laughs> I think there's a decent argument to be made that that we could be bottoming out against Bitcoin similar to kind of over here, June of 22. We could lose it. You know, there, there's people who think we could lose it. I, I know Ben Cowan thinks we could lose it, go lower. If history repeats though, we're not going to lose it because we bottomed out in September of 2019, four-year cycle, most likely we would not lose it. Also, look at that two-week right there. Deep anchor wave, first time since we bottomed out last time. Five days to confirm. That's the argument. Um, that's the argument to, to make that we would uh, you know, keep this area. So just keep that in mind. I mean, anything could happen, obviously. But I think we're down enough. You know, we're down enough where I'd rather be buying Ethereum, you know, versus Bitcoin. I'd rather be buying Ethereum right now versus Bitcoin because we're down 40%. And I believe in Ethereum. There's fun on Ethereum, I know. We need FUD. There needs to be fear. There's always going to be certain types of fear. So, yeah. Moving on to some of them. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on, you know, all the altcoins right now. But a lot of nice bubble pop patterns in a lot of these, you know. I think we're not even in the disbelief phase yet. I think as we get maybe to 45 cents, we'll get there for, you know, for Cardano. Um, and I think you, with this money flow, you're eventually probably going to break upward out of this, you know, kind of formation up to probably you know, somewhere in between 50 to 60 cents, potentially mid to late 24, um, maybe even earlier, who knows? Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of these, you know, I like the bubble pop patterns on a lot of these. I'm not on the the right time frame for this, but if you look at like on the Kraken time frame or the Binance, Binance one here, it's a nice bubble pop pattern. Essentially right here would be the depression phase, and then we're getting close to entering the disbelief phase. So a lot of these, I mean, you know, I don't want to, you guys might get bored of me doing, you know, individual TA on all these, but trigger waves, stuff like that, that's the main kind of bullish case for a lot of these. I mean, how could you trade Polkadot right now? You might be able to do something kind of of, of that nature back up to that kind of top there. This wick right there could be significant, but then your, your yeah, your risk reward ratio gets terrible. Yeah, there's some leeway right there, and you could, you probably could, yeah, if you wanted to get a one-on-one, -on -one, something like that, potentially. That's so what we'd be looking at kind of on Polkadot right now, or just a good DCA opportunity, I think. Polkadot's one of the ones I like. Like, a lot of these are ones I like. Um, I mean, Solana went to the moon. Uh, I've been kind of focusing on stuff with more 
smaller market caps, DCAing stuff with smaller market caps as opposed to Solana, just because it's such a high market cap, you know, relative. I'd probably rather buy ETH right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these, you know, Matic, I like a lot of these, you know, hit that area, your higher low right there. It's a good shot that that was your low. You're probably not going to go, you may not go down back below that point. It's a big, big area. And even if you do, it probably won't be too much lower, hopefully. Um, so yeah. And then Gala is another one, you know, I feel like this was the depression phase. We're getting close to the disbelief phase. And then Gala is a decent project. A lot of smart people like Gala. I like how this looks on your two day. I like, yeah, daily is concerning. Daily is a bit concerning. You don't have that bear div yet, but money flow, you're almost there. But the two day, three days is, is pretty good, especially for the macro, especially for the macro here. I like the weekly too. And then if we look at, oh, it's the same one. That was Gala, but Solana will be the last one. And this was the long I had yesterday. It's been a pretty good coin to trade lately. You know, right now you're getting into, you're probably hitting a point of control, I think, um, or some type of, I didn't label them, but high volume node potentially rejecting from that. We'll see what happens here. Um, you know, this, not a true bull div. I mean, if you did from the wick, it is, but it's kind of a bullish formation, you know, trigger wave right there. Could this be a, I think that technically is a hidden bull div, maybe. Yeah, it could be a hidden bull div right there on your 12 hour. So that signifies some type of continuation here. So keep that in mind. Um, Main thing too is every year since is, that I can remember, probably since 2018, post Thanksgiving you did see a pullback. So just keep that in mind as well. So anyway, guys, um, if you're interested in trading, interested in making some of these trades, Fair Desk, um, we have a really good promo. One person who signs with my link every week who deposits any amount as one futures trade. You can even deposit a dollar, I think, um, and we'll get a hundred dollar trading bonus. Zoomx, we're doing a twenty dollar bonus for the first hundred people that sign up down below details down below um so check those out really appreciate you guys and zero limit fees on mexc a lot of the uh small caps that land of course especially in the discord likes to trade is are on mexc so check those out if you guys are interested always appreciate you guys check out the discord as well smash the like button goodbye